What's going on guys, it's Swimsy here, and welcome back to a brand new Warframe video. Now in this video we're going to look at Barrow Kateer's entire rotation for this Fortnite. Now Barrow is currently located on the Coronia Relay on Saturn, and we're just going to see what he has, what he's brought this Fortnite, and if it's worth it or not, because some of the items he brings are really good, some are mediocre, and some aren't that good. If you did like this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing as everything helps me out. And I'm actually trying to hit 500 subscribers before the end of the year. I think it's a nice milestone and with your support, we can truly make that happen. Thank you all so much for the support on my videos. It really does mean a lot to me. Let me know anything I can improve on, anything you want to see in future videos. That being said, enjoy the video. All right, so Barakatia is finally here and mm, it's not looking good this week. First off, we have a Condrix sigil. Now this was from the void rig event called orphix venom i believe and yeah it's just a sigil it doesn't really do much so i would pass on this item then we have a noggle of barricadeer uh, it's decently cheap on the ducats part credits it's gonna take a lot it's all right if you want a decoration honestly it's not really worth it then we have a really good mod primed fever strike plus 165 percent toxin for melees if you want to put Toxin or Viral or anything you really want. It's a very good melee weapon mod and I would highly recommend picking it up. Plus it's a primed mod so it's a no brainer. Then we have Primed Firestorm. Improves the blast radius of weapons with radial attacks. Plus 44% blast radius for rifles. This is very good for if you are using, let's just say for example, the Stolter. That has a alternate fire that has a radial attack. And it makes the area of attack a lot bigger. So I would highly recommend picking this mod up too. Moving on, we have Primed Cleanse Corpus. Times 1.55 damage to Corpus for shotguns. It is actually a pretty good mod. I don't like using Primed Cleanse or Bane mods myself. But if you really want to, this is an easy way to increase your damage against the Corpus faction. Then we have the Prisma Veritux. I'm guessing that's how you say it. That's how I've always said it. It is a Prisma version of the Veritux, which is an arc melee weapon. Now, it's all right. If you really want to get it, I would only get it for Mastery Fodder. But you know what? The Prisma Veritux is definitely better than the standard Veritux. So yeah, pick it up if you really want to. It's an all right arc melee, but there is better. Then we have the Katia Foros shoulder plates. These nice looking shoulder plates. Honestly, the colors look pretty bad, but the overall outline and area doesn't look too bad. So if you do like this, then it is around for these two days. Then we have the Katia Forest chess piece, probably one of the better chess pieces in the game. It's nice and sleek. The colors do look a little bit shit, but once you customize them, it'll look a lot better. And we have the Forest leg plates actually don't look too bad. I'm not a big fan of this design personally, but it is definitely better than some of the other stuff Barry can bring. So yeah, if you do like this set, it is available now for the next two days. Then we have the Mantis Prisma skin, a nice skin for the Mantis landing craft. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of the Mantis, but overall pretty good. It's got that Prisma effect as well. So pick it up if you really like it. Then we have the Katia Sugatra, a little melee dangly for your weapon. It's nothing special really, it doesn't really dangle. Then we have the Katia earpiece, which you can't really see. Oh, you can see it a little bit. It is this diamond little accessory for your operator face headgear. So yeah, it doesn't look too bad if you do like it. It is available right now. Then we have the Katia Sayandana, a... Uh, it's not the best Sayandana by far, but it still looks all right. Then we have the Katia Sentinel Tail. Um, I don't like using Sentinels, even though the new rework is pretty decent. I don't like the look of this, so. Then we have the Neo 01 Relic. You can get the former Blueprint, the Odinata Prime Harness, Vault Prime's Blueprint, Aklex Prime Blueprint, Vault Prime Systems Blueprint, or the Odinata Prime Wings for the rare reward. This is all right. The Odinata is pretty good. Vault is also pretty good, and Aklex could be better. But the Lex Prime Incarno is very good. I have a video of that on my channel. If you would like to check it out, it'll be linked in the description down below. Moving on, we have the Lysette Zyndonia skin. I think this is meant to imitate Anaros and his colors, but honestly, it doesn't look that good. I like the effect that the yellow has, but apart from that, it doesn't really look that good in my opinion. Then we have Prime Pack Leader. It's a Prime mod I don't really use. I don't even think I have it. It's kind of overrated heals your companion with melee hits excess healing grants overguard that's actually new 
plus 183 health per hit, plus 2200 overguard max. So yeah, this has definitely gotten a little bit of a rework. I don't really use it, but if you do like companions, then this could potentially help out big time. Then for the first weapon of the day, we have the Galaxion Vandal. I don't know why my characters spun around, but it is the Vandal version of the Galaxion. A nice, somewhat decent weapon. It shoots a beam of ice that does cold damage on enemies. It's honestly not too bad. It could be a little bit better in my opinion, but it's still a solid weapon. Then we have the Tibron Elixir skin. It's pretty much bronze with some etched detailing. And yeah, this is for the Tibron, so I don't think a lot of people use the Tibron anymore. It was pretty good back then, but you know what? If you do like it and you do use the Tibron, it's not a bad skin. Then we have the Lemnus Staff skin. Um, this is probably one of the ugliest Staff skins in the game. I don't know who the fuck would purchase this, but if you would, and you do like it, then it's here for these next two days. Then we have the Fast Floof, the nice Cambian Drift plush toy for your Orbiter slash Dojo as a decoration. Honestly, it's a bit lackluster. I think they could have done a lot better than just having a orb in the middle, but you know what? It is what it is. Then we have the Vastalock. This is actually a very good hand gun melee combo weapon. It shoots a lot of procs that can drain shields really quickly. It's a decent gun blade and it gets the job done. I would recommend picking this weapon up because even though it's not the best gun blade, uh, the Strofer completely wipes it to the face of the earth. It is still a pretty good pick overall. Then we have the Grav Lifter Factory. A model Grav Lifter Factory inspired by Yoreli and her battle with the slave driver Volgren to save children forced to work there. A story told in the first Wave Rider Graphica. Honestly, it's not too bad of a decoration. I do like the whole water aspect. Um, but yeah, if you do like it, you can pick it up now. It is pretty cheap considering the price of normal items. Finally, we have the Sands of Inaris blueprint. This blueprint will allow you to complete the Sands of Inaris quest to get the Warframe Inaris. The quest is actually pretty good. If you haven't done it, I would highly recommend doing it. But if you have, then let me know your thoughts on the quest. I actually quite liked it. It was a bit unique, but yeah. And finally, we have the Fey Path Ephemera, a Autumn Leaf Ephemera that costs literally nothing. So I would recommend picking this up. Honestly, the leaves don't look too bad, and they are fairly animated, so there's a plus to that. Anyway, guys, that has been everything Barra has brought for this Fortnite. Let me know down below your favorite item slash mod slash weapon. Mine would have to be that primed Fever Strike mod. That 135% toxin is way too good to pass up. Let me know what your favorite item that Barrow brought this week was. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did like this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing as everything helps me out. And I'm on my way to hit 500 subscribers. Now, I would like to hit this before the end of the year, so your support would truly help out. Thank you for all the recent support on my videos. It does really mean a lot to me. Let me know anything I can improve on, anything you want to see in future videos. That being said, it's been Swim, guys. Later.